But welcome to Winter in a Bus. There's one of our chihuahuas. And we're going to go up into the bus. There's our driver's seat. When living in a bus in the wintertime, storage becomes kind of a problem. You don't want to be going in and outside. Okay. I'm going to try to do the best I can on a wide angle lens. We just <coughs> decided to keep the front of the bus like a bus. And when we're driving, it's more like a car, you know, like a vehicle in the front. Uh, <coughs> again, this turned into my workshop. <coughs> we're still working on the place. We put in a new door this past week. And we found matching doors. And we were really lucky in that. We decided to use a, a the Luan, which is a very thin plywood. Worked very well in building this bus. And we're really happy how everything came out. We stained everything cherry. And we're going to head into the bus. This is my desk and working area with my computers. I have a 30-inch monitor and computer screen there. And this is where I spend a lot of my time. We also have, whipping around here, is the 42-inch uh, TV, which also acts as a monitor, too. We can watch Netflix on it. All right. Uh, we, we use our heat. We use about three space heaters in this bus that keeps us really warm. We do have extra insulation in here, uh, in, which is shown in a prior video. All right, this is our couch area. We have a cabinet up here for our, our DVDs and movies and stuff like that. Um, we're also putting in some more shelves and, and cabinets. We found this cabinet at a flea market for $10. Here's the 42 inch TV, 47 inch TV, I'm sorry. And that is bolted to the wall on a swing arm. Going back to, we have a, we do signs for a small business and we make signs. We decided and opted for a regular full size refrigerator side by side with ice, water filter, and water. Works very, very well. Uh, lucked out for some lights, kind of can't see them. But picked up lights for 15 bucks um, on sale at uh, Lowe's. When you guys go to do this, go always look for the sales. You can really do this inexpensively. Like these upper cabinets, as nice as they are, and you see how nice they are, we got them for like 20, 25 bucks a piece. Okay? If you're not in a hurry to do this, this is the, you know, you could do this by doing everything on sale, looking for sales, garage sales, uh, part outs, Craigslist. We have a full-size kitchen in here with, of course, all our crud in it. Um, but we opted for a full-size kitchen. We have a 12-foot uh, countertop. This is my son's bedroom. Okay, he's got his own alcove. Okay, with a 32-inch television located there for playing his game video games. And this is his alcove area. And he can play video games and he can watch TV. He also usually has a curtain across here. He has a curtain across all of here. And he's got his own private area with storage underneath. Plenty of storage. We have plenty of cabinets with storage underneath. Which is the one thing in most motorhomes you don't have a lot of storage. For your pots, pans, and all your different things. We have this stove here. This is a Magic Chef. And this Magic Chef is not made anymore. It's a four burner top. We are actually going to pull this out and put a regular gas, full-size gas range in here, uh, LP gas range, uh, to match the overhead microwave top that we have uh, in the, the setup here. And we still opted to keep all of our windows in. We also have a mid-range uh, hood for uh, when we cook on the griddle or the grill. Uh, it'll push all this stuff outside. Uh, best way to get rid of extra smoke or air or grease we crack the windows open with a full-size fan in the back and it pulls it all right outside the window this is a very very comfortable situation okay going towards the back we have a full-size bathroom with a full-size sink which is buried underneath our stuff right there but here we have a full-size what do you call it, um toilet and we have a regular shower which I'm still in the process of working on. I finally found something which is like a plastic sheeting that will go on the inside. This is our bedroom. We opted to have a king size bed. 
So we just crawl up in here. It's very comfortable. We have a 42-inch television. Okay, we have a full-size bed with the windows all open with my son's head in the background. Okay, uh, we put in a 225,000 BTU 250 volt air conditioner for the summertime, which will keep this place very, very cold. We don't have any problem with heat in the, in the summertime. We don't have to have five air conditioners on top. It's very comfortable. We went with the slat wood, which I'm still doing a few little tinkerings if you see on the left. The one thing you're going to get into is once you finish the bulk of it, guys, you're going to get tired or lazy. Now, we're going to opt to have these windows taken out. I found a company that will um, take these, that, that will put uh, stainless steel blanks in instead of windows. And we're going to have those put in the bat, just two in the bathroom. And again, all our floors are done with, uh, what do you call it, laminated flooring. It's very comfortable. It's not the warmest in the winter. But it, with three uh, heaters, it will heat up this entire place with the extra insulation. If you have any questions, get a hold of Mike at bustconvert.com, and we'll answer any questions you can. This is our hobby as well as our, our home. We love our, our home. It's very comfortable. And there's a back shot going up to the front from the back. Okay. And later on, I'll get into all the mechanics of what's underneath so we can show you what's underneath. Thank you.